okay. we are going to uh, let the slope m equaling d sub 2 divided by d sub 1, and this would be equaling to 0.600. This, let this be the slope of the ramp. So here, y equaling mx, and we can choose our coordinate origin at the point of launch, and we can say that y is going to be equaling to tangent of 50 point zero degrees multiplied by x minus 9.80 meters per second squared multiplied by x squared this would be divided uh, by 2 multiplied by 10.0 meters per second multiplied by cosine of 50 point zero degrees quantity squared and this is going to be equaling to 0 0.600x. Essentially, this being from, of course, equation 425. So we can then solve for x using your solve function on your TI-84, 85, or 89. And we find that x is equaling 4.99 meters. And this is less than d sub 1. So we know that, yes, the ball does land on the ramp. So for part B then, we can say that using the value of x found in part A, we find that y is equaling mx. This would be equaling to 0 0.600 multiplied by 4.99 meters. And this is giving us 2 0.99 meters approximately, and so we can find the Pythagorean theorem to find the magnitude of the displacement, and this would be equaling to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So this would be the square root of 4.99 meters quantity squared plus 2.99 meters quantity squared, and this is giving us approximately 5.82 meters. So this would be our final answer. And then we can say the angle here would be, of course, the angle of the ramp. So we can say that the angle of the ramp, theta, would be equaling arc tan of the slope. So arc tan of 0.6. And this is giving us 31.0 degrees. This would be our answer for part C. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.